we would categorize this as one of your physics problems where we have a function and they want to know the initial height of a projectile or maybe the time at which it hits the ground. The easiest way to visualize this is we can throw it in Desmos and look for our important points, right? So I see that this is going to be a parabola with, um, again, a couple of distinct points I want to look at here. So if I just kind of click on my graph, it kind of highlights my points for me. You'll see this point pop up on our uh, Y axis. This is going to be like our starting point. So it looks like I'm throwing this thing from maybe like a platform as opposed to the ground. So we're starting at 10 and I think our Y is, is feet in this one. And then if I zoom out, there's going to be a second important point I want here. And that's going to be up at the top here. Again, if I just click randomly, it shows me this point. This shows two different things. This shows me that my maximum height, my Y, is about 166 feet. And then remember that your X in these problems is time. So at about three seconds, we hit our maximum height. And then finally, our third important point, that's going to be when we hit the ground. And it looks like that's going to be about six-ish seconds later, we hit the ground. We want to jump back to our problem and all they want to know is the positive x-intercept. Now remember, the reason they say positive x-intercept is in some of these problems, and I think it's going to be also specifically this problem, our negative x-intercept doesn't actually exist because it's time. You can't go back in time, right? So they specify positive x-intercept. That's going to be when our projectile hits the ground and it looks like that's going to be d here.